Hi, I'm Martin Delaney. The Lima app for iOS does look awesome, but you might be wondering how to get it talking to a program like Ableton Live and wondering how long it will take to set up. This is it in action, controlling Live's autofilter. You want some of that? Let's do it. You can start by downloading the installer package from Lime's website and installing it as instructed. The next thing to do is create a computer to computer network or ad hoc network as they call it Windows. You might want to password this if you're using it for live shows. And then we're going to connect the iPad to it as well. So now let's open the Lima editor on the computer and also open the Lima app on the iPad. Then we're going to click on the connect button here and choose the iPad from the list. It should show up as long as it's on the same network and click connect again. Now both devices should be showing the same screen. Then let's go to the creation pane here and we're going to drag this custom button object into the editor. Then we're just going to drag that out and resize it. You can make things nice and big on here. You might as well make the most of it. We're going to choose white for the off color and for the on color, we're going to use green. We're also going to choose some off and on icons here. You'll see how these work later on when we run the app on the iPad screen. You'll also see that when you drag them in, they appear immediately on the iPad screen because of the connection we made in the editor. Now we're dragging this multi-ball object as well. We're resizing that too. And don't forget to check here to set up your layout for iPad or iPhone screen proportions. Now we'll go to the MIDI tab here and we'll choose MIDI zero as our target. Then we'll choose control change as our message type and we'll use controller number one. Then we're going to do the same thing on the multi ball. We're choosing the same MIDI target and control change and controller two. But then we're going to do something different. We're also going to click here on Y and choose controller three for that one. Don't forget to set the same MIDI target for that one too. Now hide the editor and open the Lima Demon app, which manages the MIDI connection to the iPad. Then on the iPad, go into Lima settings, set it up like this, you'll get a pop-up list of ins and outs to choose from. We're using input zero and output zero, so they tie up with the ones we've chosen in the editor, and they'll be reflected here in the screen like this. Now let's open live. Go to live's preferences with command comma, go to the MIDI sync tab and make sure to select the daemon zero ins and outs here. We can close preferences. Now I'm going to open a live set I have ready for this. You know, it might be the one called Dubspot NYC. I'm going to load Live's auto filter. Just going to drop it into this drum track. Then we can hit Command M and go into MIDI map mode. I'm going to click the on off switch for the filter here, then tap the button on the iPad screen. And you can see it's assigned straight away. It's picked up the MIDI CC. The same with the filter frequency and resonance, and you see they'll show up here in the MIDI mapping browser. Hit Command M again to leave MIDI map mode. Now I'm going to launch some scenes here. I'm going to play around with this a little bit. Okay, let's do something with the filter now. I'm just going to launch this scene with the bass. I'm going to turn on the filter now. Yeah, and then when I touch the multi ball, you can hear it's hitting those hi hats and the ride. Turn it on and off. You can hear it on the full beat now. And that's it, you're done. The only other thing you have to do is remember to save everything. Save your live set with the MIDI mapping, obviously. Save the editor template on the computer and save the template on the iPad. Then it's all ready to go next time. So that wasn't so bad, was it? You know, Lima does so much more than this with Ableton and with other apps. And Dubspot are going to be covering this a lot more in the near future. So stay tuned.
Welcome to DubSpot. We believe in providing you hands-on experience right away. Whether you're completely new to music and want to turn the sounds in your head into a musical reality, or you're an experienced artist looking to refine your skills and add new tools to your arsenal, we're ready to meet you at your level. For students of all ages, all levels, and all styles of music, DubSpot is here to help you achieve your goals. With course offerings both online wherever you are and at our school in the heart of New York City, we are ready to guide you through the next phase of your musical transformation. Whether you want to produce music, DJ, or do both, you've come to the right place. Come explore DubSpot for yourself. Become a part of our community and make music.